Yeah, yeah, white folks see here, baby. Working on this old Lincoln right here. It's the 3.0 V6, the Duratec, you know, like the Jaguars got, kind of like that AJ V6. So these things have a problem. The, the uh, dual zone climate control valve, that right there below that, that shit goes bad. Just one more complexity. So what you do, take these two hoses. You don't want to cut them down, cut them shorter. Here's the intake side. This is where that comes in, the hot coolant flow. This little guy right here. See below there is that next hose down. It starts as bigger and gets smaller. You're going to cut that down, make room. But you will Y fitting right in there. This was the one I used, some kind of a Chrysler. Yeah, that right there. Get that part right there that's got the Y pipe. It's got an extra piece of hose to add on there. It comes with four clamps. It's got an extra length of hose right there in the middle. What you can see in between there is this fitting right here, one of these brass fittings, a 5 8 to 3 quarter size. These smaller hoses that go to your heater core look like they're about 5 8 Up here at the front side, that was 3 quarter. So I had to step this bigger hose down to this smaller hose so I could put that Y pipe in on the 5 8 to get those suckers to go into the heater core. This thing is too hot for me to touch now. It was completely cold. When you do this, you gotta bleed your shit out. That right there on the three liter V6, that's your engine bleeder screw right there, but this one stripped out so it didn't work. So you're gonna wanna start at the bottom and get down in there and grab and squeeze them hoses. Ooh, that's hot. Yeah, you squeeze on them hoses till you get it going. Keep your reservoir full. Don't let it get it too low. You get in there and you rev your engine up. If you can't get that screw open, the only way to do it is just keep adding coolant and let it rev up and eventually it'll work its way out. Hope that works for y'all. Good luck.